Okay, so let's go ahead and code our rock, paper, and scissor wrist game with our Lego Mindstorms robot kit. So we're going to go to projects in our software, and we are going to scroll down past these pre-built projects to other, and we're going to create a new project. We're going to choose word blocks, and we're going to go ahead and hit create. And the first thing we want to do is rename our project. So I'm going to go ahead and just call this RPS demo for rock, paper, scissor demo. You can name it what you wish. And we're going to go ahead and just start with this block here that is already in our coding canvas. And so when the program starts, what do we want it to do? What we want it to do is to actually give us a command. And so we're going to go to the light command and we're going to add this right block. As opposed to having it say hello, we're going to write the word left. Or you could just do L. This is going to be a, a command to remind you to press the left button on the intelligent hub of your rock, paper, scissor game. And we'll explain what that's going to do here in just a second. We also want to then go to events and we want to add two of these of this one right here when the left button is pressed and we're going to drag another one here when the and we're going to change it to the right button is pressed now something that you may have done or maybe not done is clear at the bottom here in this pink you have a section of code called my blocks and we're going to create three my blocks we're going to create the first one let's go ahead and just call it start game And you're going to see that it creates this define block automatically up in your canvas and it gives us a start game code block right here and we're going to drag that over so when the left button is pressed it's going to start the game and it's going to trigger this my block everything we put in here is, is one block that is going to be called start game and we'll see this here in just a second we're going to make another block and let's call this uh, rps for rock paper scissor so I've got this here. We're not going to use that one yet, but we're going to create one more called play again. And play again, we're actually then going to drop underneath where the right button is pressed. And I'm just going to move these define blocks over here for now. So now what we want to do is the basic structure of our game is right here. When it starts up, it's going to tell you to press the left button. When we press the left button, our game's going to start. If we press the right button, we're going to play again. It's going to reset and we're going to play again. So let's define what goes on here. So let's start with the start game here. So when we press the left, the game's going to start. Well, what happens? We're going to go to sound and we are going to drag this play sound until done. And in this one, we have a cat meow. We don't really want that. So I'm going to go to add sound. I like the coin. It kind of reminds me of my old school Nintendo games and kind of a countdown timer. So I'm going to add that to the canvas. And now I've got coin. I'm going to play coin until done. And then we're going to turn on the light for not two seconds, but one second. As opposed to a smiley face, we're going to create a countdown timer. And we're just going to add the number three here. And it's going to show number three. Now what I'm going to do here, I don't need I don't need two more of these, but I don't have to click and drag each time. I can actually right click this play sound and it's going to give me that again. So I'm going to duplicate that two times so I have these. So it's going to play the, the coin sound. It's going to show number three for one second. Play the sound. Then as opposed to three, we want to show a two. And then do it one more time and we're going to show a one. And when that's done, then we want it to then trigger the RPS, the rock, paper, scissor block. So let's go over there and code the rock, paper, scissor block. So it's going to count down three, two, one. So you know that you're ready to show your decision and then rock, paper, scissor. So over here, we're going to go back to the lights and we're going to turn on the lights. As opposed to a smiley face, let's just make the four squares and the four corners so we can have a, a visual identifier. And let me move these over so they're a little bit easier to see here for you. There we go. 
And now we are going to jump over to the controls and we are going to wait until. Now here we're going to go and we're going to add the sensor. We're going to wait until our IntelliJ Hub is shaken. So when the accelerometer detects movement, and that's by you flicking your wrist or kind of shaking it, once that takes off and it's waiting for that to happen, then the rest of this code is going to kick in the gear. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we've got to make a variable so we can record what our options going to be. And I'm just going to call this RPS random as our variable. And we're going to see that it gives us these two blocks. So we're going to go over here and we're going to set RPS random. We're going to drag an operator over to this pick random and we're going to choose options one through three because we have rock, paper, or scissor. So this is going to set the variable to a one, a two, or a three. And now we just need to then display what happens if it's a one, what happens if it's a two, what happens if it's a three. So again, like we did over here with the lights, we can write one of these and then we can just duplicate it a couple times. So I've got the if then block here. I'm going to go over to the operator and I'm going to choose the equal operator sign. And if our variable now, our rock, paper, scissor random variable, that all that's been assigned up here as a one, two, or three, if it equals a one, we want it to show paper. So we're going to turn on Let's just turn all the lights on for paper. And just so we have some another visual reminder, we're going to change the center loading byte. And let's just keep that at red. And then, like I said before, we can right click this if block and we can duplicate this two more times. So we don't have to keep dragging all that code. And what I'll do now here is if the random rock, paper, scissors, random number is two, we want it to show a rock. And so, um, you could probably come up with a better rock than me, but I'm just going to use a smaller little square for the rock. And we're going to change that to, uh, no, let's make it green here so it's kind of more stark. And let's go ahead and make this a, a three. And if it's three, it'll be scissors. So we can go this route here. Let's see. There we go. Kind of looks like a pair of scissors, just like so. And let's go ahead and make that blue. So now if it's a one, it's paper, a two is rock, three is scissors. Now what's gonna happen here, we gotta, we gotta add a, two other blocks here underneath this. The first one we're gonna do is we're gonna add a weight block. Now I, I like to keep it at five seconds. This is going to show your symbol for five seconds before it clears your screen. So it's going to show the scissors, the rock, or the paper, whatever it's been designated in the random generator uh, for five seconds. And then when that's done, we want it to tell you to write the word right, to press the right button. So it's going to tell you right. And so in here, when we show right, it says to play again. Well, we haven't defined anything in this play again, so let's go ahead and do that here now. So we're going to play a sound. We're going to go to our sound block, and we're going to play a sound till done. Um, I don't think the sound really matters in this one. I'm just going to choose a uh, bite, because that's a pretty obvious one, so it helps me detect my code, knowing where I'm at in my, in my program. And let's just get this so it resets the whole screen for everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and drag one of these, turn on for two seconds, but as opposed to smiley face, I'm just going to put a, an X through the middle. For two seconds. I don't know that you need this, but I always like to have it, so I'm just going to turn everything off. And then I'm going to have it right the word left. So this is just kind of like erasing the screen, so to speak, with that X and then blank. And then it's going to tell you to go left. You press the left button. And that's going to tell you to go up here to hit the start game. And you can just keep playing over and over and over. This right here is your rock, paper, scissor game demo code. Enjoy. Paper, I win. Let's do it again.
right button resets, left to play again,